Calibrating the sensors in the Warble 2 is the same as with the original version of the Warble. Of course, you can be connected to the configuration tool either with USB MIDI or BLE MIDI. In this case, I'm connected by BLE MIDI to my iPhone and I'm running the configuration tool in the Warble app. I'm going to begin by holding the Warble vertically by the mouthpiece so that none of the sensors are covered. That gives the Warble an idea of the ambient light conditions when none of the sensors are covered. At this point, in the configuration tool, I'm going to click Auto Calibrate All Sensors. The LED in the back of the Warble turns on. Then I'm going to cover all the sensors as lightly as possible with my fingers and just hold them there until the LED turns off, which takes 10 seconds. At that point, the sensors should be calibrated. You can calibrate the bell sensor at the same time as the other ones by gently setting it on your knee while you're covering the other sensors. Or you can calibrate it later by itself, which may be easier, by clicking Auto Calibrate Bell Sensor in the Configuration tool. At that point, again, the LED will come on in green and you'll have five seconds to gently set the bell sensor on your knee. The auto calibration will be saved automatically. Once you've auto calibrated, when you're connected to the configuration tool, the tone holes should illuminate in blue when you're touching them very lightly. If you have to press down at all to get them to illuminate, or if they turn blue when you're not quite touching them, you can fine tune the calibration at this point. If it's too difficult to get a tone hole to illuminate in blue, you'll want to click the up arrow multiple times. If the opposite is true, and the tone hole turns blue before you even touch it, then you'll click the down arrow multiple times instead. After you've adjusted the fine tuning for the calibration, you'll want to make sure you click Save Calibration. The number shown here will reset to zero at this point, and your calibration will be saved.